Hello and welcome to the latest Lucosa Retro Game Review video. And for this one it is Batman the Movie for the Amiga, released by Ocean. An Ocean uh, film tie-in. Gives you an idea of what to expect, doesn't it? Uh, this came in 89 and um, actually was a bit of a pleasant surprise. Uh, it was an Ocean film tie-in that uh, wasn't as bad as you would think. Um, the music I always think is a, a bit uninspired, um, using samples from the film. And for the Amiga version it was done by uh, Jonathan Dunn, whereas on the Commodore 64 version it was all by Matthew Cannon. Uh, Matthew Cannon, I think, did all the uh, sound effects, what there are, and uh, I think he did the in-game music as well. Jonathan Dunn just did this uh, title page music, which is far from one of his best. I think he did better stuff on the 64, to be honest. Anyway, uh, let's get the game underway. Now, shock horror. I'm not too good at this, I haven't played this game in decades and although I could complete it back in the day um, it has been an extremely long time since I played it and chances are I won't be able to remember where to go so you start off at the chemical factory Actually, that's, uh, yeah. The enemies are significantly more difficult on the uh, Amiga version than they are on the 64 version. For a start, on the 64 version, the enemies don't fire down at you. Here, oh yes. Oh, for fuck's sake. And my, uh, yeah, I'm having hard enough time just getting in to move upwards. <sighs> Past the thing. I have a nasty feeling I'm going to, or should have enabled the uh, cheat mode, except I don't remember how to enable it. Are you fucking? I can't, uh, yeah, I've got to do this bit all again. I really need something other than a joypad to be playing this, because otherwise I keep accidentally bloody... Okay, here we go. What did I fucking press fire for? Right, now I need to get up here. While this cunt is busy throwing grenades again. Right. Yeah, as you can see, firing upwards at you which they don't do on the 64 version, which makes the 64 version significantly easier. I think I got him. I can't remember which way to go. Let's go down. I'm not sure if going down was the right idea. Especially as it looks like I'm almost uh, about the croquet. Trying to have a fag at the same time doesn't help. But you can see your, your energy is represented by the uh, digitised uh, image in the bottom of your uh, like 
status panel or whatever you want to call it. Uh, as you take more hits, the uh, picture of the uh, Joker appears. There you go. And without any hits, where has it put me? Right back at the start, I think. So I didn't even last long enough to uh, get to the first checkpoint, I think. No, it doesn't look like I have. Fucking thing. So it would be good to show you like the the car and the uh, bat wing and all that, but chances are I'm not going to fucking get there. Fuck off! So standing under that is uh, you know a great idea. Oh, you fucking! Right, time to put the fag out. I'm doing this seriously now. Not that you would notice any fucking difference. <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake. Right, this is starting to really get on my fucking tits now, this. And that don't help either, I'm trying to just push up. I fucking hate using the joypad on games like this. Oh, well it's taken a fucking age, but I finally got here. Coming along behind me there, he seemed to appear from nowhere. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that was rather badly needed, that. Now I can only hope I'm going the right way here. Oh fucking! held that he does move rather slow. Let's see what's up here. Probably not a lot. Oh, no. So it also doesn't help that I can't actually remember which way to go. If you have jumps that are or drops rather that are too far that also kills you so there's a lot of stuff around here that kills you even though you're supposed to be some super strong vigilante I wouldn't say impervious to everything but uh oh, fuck off down here. Instant death because it's too far a fall. Now where's it going to start me off? Well, okay, um, it's not right back at the beginning anyway. I guess it's got that in its favour.
Right, so let's see what's around here then. Well, this is where I fell way too far. Fucking hell. and get rid of that bastard with the uh there we go. Oh what the fucking hell is he doing that for? done it again! I'm only pushing up because fucking... I think I'm starting to get somewhere. But I'm also thinking I'm somewhat fucked now. Well, I did better there than I was expecting. So again, I couldn't get the fucking diagonal, so there you go, you get to see level 1. Uh, I think what I'm going to have to do is do another video of this where I've got trainers enabled so I can actually get somewhere because I can't for the life of me remember where I'm meant to go. And I remember how to do each of the levels because, well, I completed the game back in the day, but uh, yeah, not this time. Oh, I get to put my name in. How wonderful. Uh, right, so, um, well, you didn't get to see very much of it. You saw the first level. And there are only five. Uh, so I'll come back to this at some point when I've got the cheat mode done. In the meantime, uh, how do I rate it? Well, graphically it's alright, it's just you didn't get to see much of it. Uh, the Batwing and the, uh, the Batmobile both look quite impressive. Uh, in fact, both those stages look impressive overall. Um, Sound-wise is reasonable without being fantastic. Gameplay-wise, I guess it would help if you were using a regular um, joystick rather than a shitty joypad. Or even if you use keys, that would probably be better and all. So, uh, there you go, so that's Batman the movie. Uh, I'll give it 7 out of 10. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll do another one of these and um, uh, show you more in a, a later video. Because the rest of the level should be seen. Anyway, there you go. Uh, right, that brings this video to an end. Uh, we'll uh, see you at the next one.